Perform the vent check prior to using the LTV-1200 on a patient. Be sure you start with the ventilator turned off. Ensure that the AC adapter is connected to a valid AC power source and verify that the external power and charge status LEDs on the front panel are illuminated. To begin vent operation checkout, push and hold the select button. Continue to hold the select button and press the on standby button. Remove patient should be displayed. An audible alarm will sound while remove patient is displayed. Clear the alarm by pressing the silence reset button once. The audible alarm silences and the display changes to vent check. The display has now changed to vent check. Push the select button. The first ventilator checkout test alarm is displayed. Alarm is now displayed. Use the alarm test to verify that the audible alarm is working correctly. To run the alarm test, push the select button while alarm is displayed. Verify that the audible alarm is sounded. When the alarm has sounded for at least two seconds, push the select button again. The audible alarm is silenced and the next menu item is displayed. Display is now shown in the window. Display test will verify that the ventilator displays are working correctly. Push the select button while the word display is visible. All segments of the seven segment alphanumeric display will illuminate, all dots of the dot matrix window displays, and all LEDs are illuminated except the vent in-op display. Please note, the vent in-op LED is tested and verified during the vent in-op alarm test later. To end the display test, push the select button once more and the next menu item is displayed. Use the control test to verify that the ventilator buttons and the set values knob are working correctly. Push the select button while the word control is visible in the display window. Test each control button by pressing them one at a time. When pressed, verify that the name of the button pressed is visible in the display window. Test the set value knob by turning it clockwise and counterclockwise. Clockwise increases a value and counterclockwise decreases it. Verify that the settings visible in the display window reflect your rotations with the select value knob. To exit the control test, push the select button again and the next menu item is displayed. Leak is now visible. Use the leak test to test the patient's circuit for leaks. At this point, the patient's circuit is attached using the 22 mm adapter here. An HME filter is attached here if you choose to use it. With a clean gloved hand or 4x4 gauze pad, block off the patient end of the circuit. Push the select button while leak is visible in the display window. Performing the leak test will take the ventilator several seconds. After several seconds, the display shows leak pass or leak fail, indicating the leak test results. Please note, the leak test will fail if the flow through the flow valve is greater than one liter per minute. If this happens, please retry the test and ensure you have completely closed off the end of the circuit and that you also have the circuit securely attached to the ventilator itself. To exit the leak test, Push the select button again and the next menu button is displayed. Next, we'll perform the vent in-op alarm test. Use the vent in-op alarm test to verify that the in-op alarm is working correctly. To perform this test, you must turn the ventilator off by pressing and holding the on standby button for three seconds. Do not push the silence reset button. Observe the ventilator for 15 seconds. Listen for the alarm tone for the full 15 seconds. 
Watch the vent in-op LED for the full 15 seconds. After the 15 seconds, silence the alarm by pressing the silence reset button. Verify a confirming audible chirp occurred after the alarm was silenced. You have now completed the vent check and alarm in-op test. If you encounter any problems during the vent check, please refer to the operator's manual for further information and resolve that issue before using the LTV on a patient.